That's Rob here again, and today we're looking at a little project I've got um, underway, and it's a spark plug cleaner. Um, I've got heaps of spark plugs, I've got, I must have hundreds of them, but uh, some of them are a bit fouled up, and uh, they're quite good plugs, but they're just fouled with fuel, soot, or oil. And you can clean them up all right, and they're perfectly serviceable. So uh, I've got a few that are built up. And what I normally do, I've got a handheld grip blaster, and I just blast them with carborundum, and uh, it cleans them. But the trouble is, you finish up wearing half of it because the stuff ricochets all over the place, and it goes down your neck and in your bloody eyes, and the stuff goes everywhere. So. Uh, I have got another way of doing it. I have got a little grip blasting cabinet, but it's, it's damn awkward to uh, to see what the, what you're doing. And anyway, cut long story short. Years ago, I did make up a a similar a tube type, just a piece of pipe basically with a thread in the end. Plug goes in the end. Air, uh, grid gun goes on the other end of the tube. Some ports around the outside and tried that, and it didn't really work very well. The problem is that there's so much grit coming out the grid gun that it tends to just clog up and jam up inside the uh, the tube and finish up not much happening so uh, that was a few years ago so anyway the other day I was looking in the scrap heap there and I had a bit of steel there it was a, an old stub axle off of a horse drawn cart and this is some of the steel this is actually forged steel would you believe and it's a mongrel to machine but uh, but anyway my little Chinese laid handed it alright so this is my newfangled uh, Mark II um, spark plug cleaner and what I did was basically machine a hole this is solid solid stock so I machined uh, drilled right through it and machined a uh, 20 TPI spark plug thread in there I did that with a with a pointed boring bar and I machined right through and you can see I've got quite a big chamber in this one so there's plenty of uh, plenty of room for the grit to escape, so it's back plug, it's back plug screws in here. Mm, it sounds like some crows are on the roof having a tap dance up there. Okay, so it's back plug goes in like that. On this end of the chamber, this is a shock absorber grommet that goes through the mounting pin, and the mounting pin goes through that rather. And I've got plenty of those lying around, so that's going to be the seal for the uh, grit gun nozzle. So that will go, put that will push in there. I haven't put it in yet because I wanted to show you what the inside looked like. So that'll push right in, and then the nozzle for the grit gun will come in through here and it'll blast the grit up the chamber into the uh, spark plug end, and the grit will then come out this cavity here, out this hole here. And this is a uh, escape uh, tube, so that will, this tube will fit in there snugly, and that's the unit. So the grit gun comes in there, sprays the grit up, hits the plug, bounces around inside the chamber and then drops down. Now on this uh, a clamp will go around there, a hose clamp, and I'll have some rag, some cotton, um, say pillowcase rag or something like that wrapped around, that'll form a tube and that'll be like a anti-ricochet, anti-dust escape tube for the, for the grit to go back into the bucket and that's where the clamp will go to hold it. And uh, that's it. That's the whole unit. Now the um, this uh, sleeve here, which is more junk, I'll lock that in with some uh, Loctite 609 um, Super Retainer. I was going to weld it, but there's really no point. There's not much load on it, and it's only going to mess up a nice bit of machining. So yeah, that'll lock tight in, and it'll look all right. Um, I even went mad and uh, ran the the new coarse nail I got around it to try that out and uh, made it look like the real McCoy. So uh, anyway, this afternoon I'll I'll lock tight in this uh, this tube, leave it uh, 24 hours, and uh, we'll try it out tomorrow. So will the Mark II version actually work? You better come back and find out. Stay tuned. Well, it's the next day and uh, I've got her ready to go. So you can see here I've got the rubber plug in the end of it. I've got the uh, um, anti-ricochet and dust rag on the exhaust port. 
And here's my little grip blasting gun, so that just pushes in. It's a snug fit in there. Plug goes in the end, and uh, I'm ready to try her out, so uh, we will. Stay tuned. Okay, well now we'll see how good it is. Um, here's a spark plug that uh, is really fouled up badly, you can see. Not looking at all good. Hope that comes up alright, yep. Okay, now we'll put her in the gun. I've got my grip gun pushes in and we'll just give it a blast for a while. Good that. Do a bit more. Pretty good. So it works. It works really well. A clean spark plug. Can't do much better than that. Not for a grip blaster anyway. Yeah, so it works. Mark II has been successful. Right, well, Mark II version worked pretty damn good. As you can see, there's the plug that we, uh, we cleaned. And it did it no problems at all. If you do use a grip blaster to clean spark plugs, make sure you give them a good tap to make sure there's no um, no abrasive still left in them it can jam up in there and it's a good idea to get an old hacksaw blade and just grind a, f a fine point onto it like that then you can get down there poke around make sure there's nothing jammed in there this is the old style spark plug cleaner my father was a mechanic and this is what they used to use to clean them up in the old days you chip all the carbon off with a hacksaw blade tip like that but you can get in there as I said Make sure it's all clean, give it a couple of taps and uh, clean up the thread with a, with a wire brush just to get any grit residue off, that, any dust. And that plug is as good as damn near brand new. So, uh, okay, it works. So Mark II's a go. Make yourself one up and it'll be a handy little item and uh, you can clean up all your old spark plugs and get them back to new again. Okay, see you next time.